everybody. I'm making this video to answer a few questions that students and parents have about MIMBing and the weekly MIMBing work expectation. So the first thing I'm doing is taking you to my dashboard. There's a really useful tool that helps you track how many minutes you've logged within a week, especially because our weeks start on a Thursday and end on a Wednesday. If you scroll down the page towards the bottom under this graphic, you'll see a training date range. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put in my start date and the start date is always on a Thursday. I'll choose the 2nd of November here. And then I'll choose my end date, which would be the next week, that Wednesday, the 8th of November. And so I've got that and I click on show. Now what will come up in that time is that I've trained 36 minutes within that time frame. Now students are supposed to train for at least 40 minutes. So in this case, I would need to train at least four more minutes to be truly effective. That date range doesn't come from me, it comes from Mimbean and the data that they've looked at for thousands, hundreds of thousands of users, and how much do we really need to use this tool on a weekly basis for it to be effective. But there's even a little bit more information here because you need to spread those practice sessions out over at least four days. And the way that you can quickly check that is right above that date range that you have, you can click on play, and and it'll show you a graph. And when I click on that, I can see how that dot is moving on different dates. I can see I trained six minutes on November 2nd, 16 minutes on the 3rd, zero on the 4th, 10 minutes on the 5th, and four minutes on the six. I needed to add a day or add some time to those practice sessions to be really effective. And that will really help you understand, are you training enough or is your student training enough? Now I'll hop over as well to the Haiku Gradebook. And here I try to put up every week a Mimbean check, which is a formative mark, meaning it doesn't directly affect the semester grade, but it's a quick check-in to let you know, are you using this or is your student using this effectively? We can see this student is doing quite a good job with Mimbean checks, normally getting 7 out of 7. Here, and this week, it's a 4 out of 7. Well, why is that? What's that number mean? Well, you can click on this icon to the right. This will take you to the rubric, and it'll pop up, and you just have to click on weekly Mimbean check each time in blue. And when you do that, it takes you to the narrative, and you read that narrative to know what the student has done. And that way, if you're ever wondering what's the number mean, then I put some words connected to it so that you can keep that in mind. Also, if you ever forget kind of what is the requirement every week, you can click on any assignment description in the gradebook, and I've put some further information. I also put this in the calendar. When these are due each week, you can click on those calendars, and you'll get this information. It's got a link to Mimbean, and it lets you know that students get about 20 minutes in class to do Mimbean work each week, leaving about 20 minutes outside of class where they have to pick over seven days, four of those days, to do some more Mimbean work. Now, of course, they can do more to get those higher marks, and then I've put all this information, those bulleted lists there to help you use Mimbean effectively. Of course, you can email me with questions if you need it, but I hope this clarifies how you can check the week weekly Mimbean work to ensure that your student or you are doing this work effectively.